Alexander Dumas' The Three Musketeers, a graphic novel by Stahlberg and Cabrera. Cast of characters: Count de Rochefort, the Duke of Buckingham; Athos, Aramis, Porthos, Captain Treville, Milady, Lady de Winter, Cardinal Richelieu, King Louis the Thirteenth, Queen Anne of Austria, Constance Bonacieux, D'Artagnan. Chapter One: A Life of Adventure. In Gascony, France, in the year sixteen twenty-five. Remember that you are a Gascon, my son. Never fear quarrels. Always seek adventures. Then people will know the name D'Artagnan far and wide. Give this letter to Monsieur de Treville, Captain of the Musketeers. Join his ranks and make us proud. I promise I will. Soon after, in the town of Myung, France, a plague upon all Gascons! Your kind is not welcome here. Not until I have joined the musketeer, we will see what Monsieur de Treville thinks about this. Treville, the captain of the musketeers, search him. A letter. Bring it here. You hope to become a musketeer? Don't make me laugh. What an insolent boy! Indeed, my lady. Guards, remove him from my sight. Much later, outside a residence in Paris. You walked here all the way from Myung. Yes, Monsieur Bonacieux. A man from Myung stole my money, so I had to sell my horse. May I rent one of your apartments? This should cover my stay until my work begins. You see, I am going to be a musketeer. Truly. I um. Ah, this is my wife Constance. She serves the queen herself when she's not cleaning my own house. Shall she prepare your room, good sir? I would be honored. After buying new clothes and a sword, D'Artagnan visits the musketeers' meeting hall. Wait here. I'll let Captain Treville know you're here. Finish the story, Porthos. The story is that the cardinal ordered Rochefort to spy upon the man and then cut his throat for treason. That certainly sounds like the cardinal, or the Red Duke, as I like to call him. Ha! It's too bad you didn't follow your first vocation, Aramis. You would have made an impressive priest. Surely these fellows will all be imprisoned or hanged for such scandalous talk. I'd best avoid them, for my own safety. <laughs> Oh, I have not abandoned hope of becoming a priest. So you say, but I think the queen will give an heir to the king of France before that happens. In other words, never. Do not make jokes about the queen, Athos. She makes a joke of herself. She barely hides her affair with the duke, after all. Say whatever you like about the king or the cardinal, Aramis, but the queen is not to be insulted. Porthos, I will say whatever I please. Captain Treville will receive D'Artagnan. Monsieur, it is an honor to. One moment, please. Athos, Porthos, Aramis, get in my office now. Will one of you please explain to me why the cardinal's guards got into a fight with my musketeers? Monsieur Treville, we have no idea what you are. You were recognized, Athos. He named you. Don't deny it. Ow. I will not allow fighting in the streets. Above all, I will not let you three give the cardinal's guards a reason to laugh at us. Sir, before we three could even draw our swords, two of our allies were killed. We were lucky to escape alive. I did not know that. But still, you must not risk your lives opposing the cardinal. Brave men like you are hard to replace. Now get Athos to a surgeon. Clearly, he's been wounded. Be gone. Now what can I do for you, son? Quickly now, my time is limited. Monsieur, I wish to request the uniform of a musketeer. My boy, one does not simply ask to become a musketeer. 
You must prove your worth in several battles in service of the crown. But my father said... Is your father the reason you're here, young man? Is it his wish for you to become a musketeer? Or is it yours? Mine, sir. I had a proper letter of introduction from my father, but a man from Myung stole it. Who stole from you? I do not know his name. But I will never forget his face. He was a bully and a coward. But the woman with him was beautiful beyond compare. I don't suppose you caught her name, at least. He simply called her Milady. Him? I thought he was still in Brussels. You know this man? All too well. Do not seek him out. He would break you like glass. It's him! My thief! Chapter 2 Friends and Enemies He will not escape me this time! Back from the doctor so soon, Athos? I told you it's nothing serious. Ow! Excuse me, I'm in a hurry! Excuse me? Think again, boy. M Monsieur Athos, please forgive me. It's too late for apologies, Monsieur Man in a Hurry. Are you challenging me to a duel? Yes, at the Carme de Chaux, noon. Do not make me wait. I'll be there ten minutes before twelve. Don't make me wait. There he is! How dare you! Excuse me, I am running after someone and... Do you always forget your eyes when you run? Oh. No, Monsieur Porthos. In fact, they are sharp enough to see this baldric you wear is fake. Boy! Now you've done it. You, me, swords, one o'clock, behind the Luxembourg. Agreed. Beautiful cloak, by the way. After several hours of fruitless searching... Curse my pride. If I survive these duels alive, I must practice being more polite. Monsieur, I believe you dropped your handkerchief. You'd be sorry to lose such a fine item. Allow me. MDBT? Oh, dear Aramis, try to tell us now that you're not in love with Madame de Bois-Tracy. Sigh. I suppose we duel at two o'clock, then. You name the place. Noon, that very day. My death may be certain, but I will not go quietly. Oh, so now you wish to show me respect. I did not mean to... Spare me. I have asked two friends to witness our duel, but they have not yet arrived. We do not need to do this now, Athos. You are wounded and would be at a disadvantage. I fight with either hand just as easily. What's this I see? Your witnesses are Messieurs Porthos and Aramis? Indeed. So what? If anyone is going to duel this brat, it's going to be me. No, Pardo. His quarrel is with me. I will happily fight all three of you, but the first duel belongs to Athos. See? Now wait your turn. On guard! French for on your guard. Wait! The Cardinal's guards are... Fighting again, musketeers? So soon after your last riot? Sheath your weapons now! Follow us! If Treville finds out about this, we're doomed. There are five of them. We are but three. Four. You are not one of us. I do not have the uniform, but my heart is that of a musketeer. Brave words, boy. What is your name? D'Artagnan, monsieur. And so we are four. You dare to resist arrest? Did you expect any less? Charge! <laughs> Aha! I have you now! Yield or die. Wise choice. I may not be a musketeer yet, but I think I've earned a tryout. <laughs> the next day at King Louis's royal castle. Captain Treville, Cardinal Richelieu says that your musketeers are criminals. He wants them hanged. No, your highness. My men's swords serve only your majesty. They were forced to defend themselves. I humbly request that your majesty have Cardinal Richelieu explain why his guards were arresting my men. You have a point. With that said, duels are forbidden. They must be punished. Respectfully, Your Highness, one of my three men was already wounded. The fourth is just a boy. Were it my decision alone, such bravery would not be punished. It would be rewarded. Hmm. Later, at a local pub. 
I've never held so much money in my life. What should I do with it? Hire a servant. Double it at the gambling tables. If I were you, I'd find a girlfriend and spend it on her. Truly, Aramis? I thought you planned to become a priest. Until I take those vows, I intend to enjoy life to the fullest. As do we all. From this day forth, you are one of us, D'Artagnan. Stand. Speak the oath with us. All for one, one, one for all. Chapter 3. Dangerous Liaisons D'Artagnan excels in his training at the academy. In a short time, he graduates at the head of his class and is hired as a royal guard. Soon after... Morbleu! What is the meaning of this? The cardinal demands to speak with you. What would Cardinal Richelieu want with my landlord? Has your wife shared any royal secrets with you? What? No, she barely speaks to me these days. You four wait here for Madame Bonacieux to return. I cannot allow Constance to be taken. Unhand me! I serve the Queen! You heard the lady. Unhand her! D'Artagnan! Kill him! Ah! Retreat! You saved me. How can I thank you? You owe me no thanks. Any gentleman would do the same. I could not let you be taken away by agents of the Cardinal. What would the Cardinal want with me? I was hoping to ask you that question. Wait, where is my husband? He was arrested. They are taking him to the Bastille. My husband is imprisoned? But he knows nothing. Knows nothing of what? That is not my secret to tell. We must leave before those men return with reinforcements. You still defend me knowing I keep my secret? I only hope to see you again in one piece. You wish to see me again? Madame, if you could see my heart, then you would know how true that is. Even though being seen with me would be a crime? All the more reason to stay by your side. Come, I will take you somewhere safe. I'm afraid that's not possible. Why? I have important business to attend to. You mean this business which Monsieur Bonacieux knows nothing about? You are no gentleman. Have you forgotten how to speak to a lady? I, I didn't mean to insult you. Please forgive me and be on your way, but be careful. I take it back. You are a gentleman after all. But D'Artagnan could not leave her sight. He was in love and worried for Constance's safety. That man looks like trouble. D'Artagnan? I'm sorry, madame, but you are not safe. I need to know your business. You need to know nothing, monsieur. I have only devotion and sympathy in my heart. Can't you see that? What is the matter here? Lord Duke of Buckingham? You will ruin us all, D'Artagnan. Ruin you? I would never. Wouldn't you? You are armed with the sword and crest of the Royal Guard. And now you are armed with dangerous information. So it's true. You and Queen Anne have been hiding a love affair from the King. In truth, I'm more worried about the Cardinal finding out. He wants the Queen for himself. Well, in that case, I ask a hundred pardons. I am sorry for doubting you, madame. How can I make this right? Truly? If you are offering to help us, then I accept. Follow me at a discreet distance. If you see anyone following us, stop them. On my honor. Fortunately, they soon arrived at the Louvre without a fight. Once there, Constance led the Duke to a secret chamber. And my love. Oh, my dear Duke, you risk both your life and my honor by seeing me in secret like this. I only want what you want, for us to be together. But everything keeps us apart. The enmity of kingdoms, the sanctity of marriage. It is a crime for us to be in love. The only crime I care about is being apart from my one true love. If you die, I would go mad. Leave now and only return with guards who will watch over you. Only then will I agree to meet you again. If you truly mean that, then give me something to remind me of your words. Constance, bring me the box. Keep this until we meet again. Now, will you promise to go? With a heavy heart, my love. Farewell. Meanwhile... Take this fool away! 
Please, let me go. I've told you everything I know. And I thank you for that, Monsieur Bonacieux. Report. The Queen and Duke have seen each other, Cardinal, late last night. Why am I only hearing of this now? My spy in the Louvre was detained. I'm sorry. How can we reveal the Queen's affair now? The point of luring the Duke here to Paris was to have witnesses of their secret meeting. My spy also believes the Duke left the meeting with a rosewood casket with diamonds inside. Well then, Rochefort, all is not lost. Now listen carefully and do exactly as I say. I am lost. The Cardinal knows everything. Soon the King will know everything as well. What? How? Please calm yourself. What happened? We... we were in the garden. The Cardinal was rambling about hosting a ball. A ball? What a splendid idea! You must wear your finest clothes. Perhaps Her Majesty should wear those beautiful diamonds you gave her, sire. The earrings, but... Do you see now? I am betrayed on all sides. No, for I am on your side. Please let me help. Later, at the Bonacieux house. My husband! Your home! What's left of it, anyway? Did you stop cleaning while I was being tortured? I beg for your forgiveness. I've had grave matters to deal with. Graver than my imprisonment? Yes, I'm afraid so. It is a good and holy act, and there is money to be gained. Money, you say? Yes. Will you deliver this for me? You must not be seen. Of course, my love. Where shall I take it? London. London? Why? An important person requires it. The payment you receive will be great. That is all I can say. I don't think so. You see, I now know all about your evil plans. The Cardinal has told me. I must bring this matter to his attention. The Cardinal! No, you must not! Forgive me for saying that your husband is a fool. I must agree. Clearly you are in trouble. Clearly. Then I shall perform the task. London, was it? Yes. Take great care, for the Cardinal's men will be at your heels. In that case, I shall not ride alone. D'Artagnan, Athos, Porthos, and Aramis rode out together under cover of darkness. The Cardinal's spies were everywhere. Ambush! Escape, D'Artagnan! We'll cover you! I will not abandon you! Your mission will fail if you die here! Reluctantly, D'Artagnan left the three musketeers behind. He raced to Calais on the northern coast. Go on! Spur! Spur! Upon arrival... Sorry. No one can board without written permission from the Cardinal. Now what? I can't just swim to England. Servant! Where is my letter from the Cardinal? I... I'm sorry, monsieur. I left it in the carriage. Well, go and get it. And hurry! Aha! Fate smiles upon me. D'Artagnan traveled to England without problems. Monsieur Duke! Stand down! I know this man. Why have you gone to such lengths to see me in person, young man? Our mutual friend is in great danger. Only you, your grace, can save her. What's happened? Read this. God in heaven. Follow me, young man. Here are the diamonds. No! Two of the studs have been stolen. But how? It had to be the Countess de Winter. I am a fool for trusting her. <clears throat> oh, what have I done? Upon D'Artagnan's return... I am so happy to find you all alive and well. Ha! It takes more than a few of the Cardinal's spies to defeat us. Enough chit-chat. Agreed. What happened in London, D'Artagnan? Thankfully, the Lady de Winter only stole two of the diamonds. She only needed two to prove the Duke and the Queen were having an affair. Indeed, so the Duke hired jewelers to create exact copies of the missing studs. After the studs were finished, I hurried to the King's Ball. Sire, here is the proof. The proof that your queen has been having an affair. 
What is the meaning of this, wife? Are you giving me two more diamonds? My necklace will be even lovelier with fourteen studs. I, um, yes, yes, my queen. These are for you. Oh, thank you, your eminence. All my plans ruined by a boy. Deal with him as you see fit, milady. With pleasure, cardinal. France owes you a great debt, young man, as do I. It is an honor to serve France and you, madame. I ask for nothing more. How noble. All the same, please accept this ring as my thanks. Someone else wishes to thank you as well. Constance! Listen, D'Artagnan, please. The cardinal knows that I ruined his plans. I must go into hiding. Then I shall go with you. No, you cannot come. You are a musketeer. Your duty is to serve the king. You are right. But when will I see you again? Someday, when it is safe for both of us. But do not look for me. Promise. Sigh. I promise. You sure know how to tell a tale, D'Artagnan. It's all true, monsieur. On my honor. Oh, I believe you. But not a word of it can leave this room. But the cardinal is a criminal. He needs... He needs to be watched carefully. I will handle that. You four have other work to do. The siege of La Rochelle has resumed. The last trading port open to England is under attack? This must be the Cardinal's doing. So soon after his plan to destroy the Queen failed? His motives don't matter. Stopping the siege is our priority. I agree. He's trying to start a war. We need you at the front as soon as possible, D'Artagnan. I had hoped to stay with the Musketeers. Continue to serve France with honor, and your place in the Musketeers is certain. Thank you, Monsieur. Corporal D'Artagnan, come with me. You have a special mission. Special mission, sir? We need our fastest rider to scout ahead. Are you up to it, D'Artagnan? I will not fail. Chapter 4. Milady's Revenge Something is wrong. I feel it in my bones. Is that a... Special mission indeed. Coward! Who sent you? If you tell me, I will spare your life. Or not. On guard! My offer still stands. Speak quickly or die. I did not meet her. I only knew her name. Milady. Some days later. D'Artagnan, a gift has arrived for you. It's from Paris. A dozen bottles of wine? From Athos, Porthos, and Aramis. I shall drink to their health, but I will not drink alone. We shall celebrate, friends. That night. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Hear, hear. Long live the king. Long live the cardinal. My friends, they didn't tell me you would arrive so soon after the wine you sent me. We didn't send you wine. No! Hook! Ack! It must have been Milady. We need to talk. In a nearby quiet place. Tell us everything you know about this Milady. I've never met her, but it's clear she holds a deep grudge against me, though. Well, we think we've discovered her identity. How? Tell me who wants me dead. It was a simple matter. We listened to her conversation through a chimney. I stole your diamonds. Your mistake ruined the plan, not mine. I have a backup plan. I simply need you to get close to the Duke again. Very well. I will kill the Duke for you, but you must kill someone for me in exchange. Surely D'Artagnan is dead by now. He is not enough. Find Constance Bonassou. Kill her along with her husband. That is easily done. We must stop Milady from killing Constance. Did you hear the Cardinal say where she is? We've already sent spies to track down Count de Rochefort. You, D'Artagnan, will know him as the man from Meun. Where Rochefort goes, Milady will follow. Rochefort! Remember me? You were nothing to me then, and you're nothing to me now, boy. Your master's evil plans end here, and so do you. Ah! Where is she? Which she do you mean? 
One of them is likely dead. This is not the way that I wish to avenge myself, but we do what we can. Stay here, madame. What is happening out there? Did I hear gunfire? Yes. Oh, dear me. I must speak with Constance Bonasu at once. D'Artagnan sent me. Constance, the cardinal has found you. We must leave here while D'Artagnan holds them back. D'Artagnan is here? There's no time to explain. You must come with me. Oh, okay. Not long after. Constance, where are you? No! Milady will pay for this. We will hunt her to the ends of the earth, brother. The Cardinal can contact her. We can make him flush her out. He will pay for his crimes, too. I swear it. One step at a time, D'Artagnan. One step at a time. Not long after, back at the siege camp. What is the meaning of this? Release Count de Rochefort. We will speak with the Cardinal. Now. Stand down. Let them in. After they release Rochefort. You know I can have you arrested. You abandoned your posts. You attacked my guards. You abducted one of my men. This man was acting on your orders to murder the Queen's maid, Constance Bonacieux. I see. Then how much money do you want? That is why you're here, no? You haven't arrested me, so clearly you wish for me to buy your silence. For now, we only want one thing. Tell us the whereabouts of Lady de Winter, the one they call Milady, and grant us a warrant for her arrest. Go on then, kill me. That's why you're here, isn't it? No, Milady. In the name of the king, I place you under arrest. You will pay for your crimes. D'Artagnan served in the king's army during the siege with distinction. After the siege ended, D'Artagnan was officially made a musketeer. The other musketeers made sure that the cardinal himself wrote a letter of recommendation for him. Congratulations, my boy. But be careful. You've made a powerful enemy. What's this, Cardinal Richelieu? Read it. Fill in the name of whomever you like. This makes us even. What is it? This is a commission for the rank of first lieutenant. Each of you deserves this far more than I do. No, keep it. You earned it, my friend, and I would gladly serve under your command. You flatter me, but my career is almost over. The honor is yours. Alas, this business with the Cardinal has soured me on military service. The life of a monk calls to me. I am thrilled. Thank you all. I am sad to see our friendship end. Never will it end. Remember us, and our friendship will endure. So swear we all. All for one, one for all.